Let me go, let me go. You got me wrist let me go, let me go. I got that snowman in the yard in my clothes. How do you find love? I mean, uh, you know, you'd be in the store, maybe you're like checking the price of onions or something, and you just look up and there he is. <laughs> and then your eyes meet and it just works because it's just how it works. Yeah, that's it. Okay, well, how am I supposed to make that happen? You can. Not by looking for it. That's why they call it falling in love. You can't fall on purpose. See, I, I used to be an actor and I, and I took a class in, in falling, trying to make it look like I fell. Well, I was still trying and I um, must have fallen over about a thousand times trying to, trying to make it look like it was an accident and I, I, I couldn't do it. So, um, I, I quit being an actor. Yeah, 
drive me nuts sometimes But it's okay We'll see the morning I came to my mama, I asked her for some dollars. She gave me suck on a dollar. She told me fuck the dollar. She was like, make your bread. I was like, okay. She was like, make it quick. Sorry. I'm taking my time. Okay, I give one cent. Okay, I give one cent to everyone who hate me. No, I give one cent to everyone who hate me. No, I give one cent. No, two cent. No, I give some to everyone who hate me. Hey man, look to be in your forehead. Hey man, I give you bread, you give me head. Hey man, I'm not being just happy. Ah, okay, I give one cent. Okay. I give one cent to everyone who hate me. No, I give one cent to everyone who hate me. No, I give one cent. No, two cent. No, I give some to everyone who hate me. What are the things about me that you like? Uh, what are questions I What do you mean what kind of question is that? I'm curious. Yeah. Why you love me? Barry. What did I say we're not gonna have these conversations late at night and stuff? Cause I'm in a little trouble. I'm trying to have a serious conversation uh, here. So Trying to pick your brain about the little things. Maybe I just.
Okay. Jesus, I just... I doubt that. I don't understand why we always blow up over these little things. I'm not blowing up. I'm just tired. I think you're a little sensitive. A percentage. A percentage. I want to know what the chances are that we might actually get married. Because, you know what? I'm 26 years old. I've been in this relationship for like ever, and I want to know if anything's going to come of it. I need to know if you take me seriously, because if you don't, I should know about it. I know I always say this, but don't get upset. We should not be having this conversation right now because it's late and this is a bad time. No, 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 no. This is the best goddamn time ever to have this conversation. No, okay, fine, I'll go first. If you asked me to marry you right now, I would say yes. I would marry you. And I would grow old with you and I would have your babies. <laughs> I would because that's why I'm in this relationship, because I love you. And I want that. I deserve better than this. I don't mean better than what? No, I don't mean that. I just... Better than me? Why do you want to marry me? I'm talking about the fucking negative feedback that I get from you all trip. And then in the same sentence you say, Josh, I want to marry you. And then you say you deserve better than me. What the fuck, dude? Why do you want to be with me? Give me one good reason why you want to marry me. You can't do it. You can't do it. You know why? Because you want me to be this dude that I am not. I'm sorry, okay? I would love to be that dude, but I'm not. And I'm fucking sick of feeling guilty about it. And I'm sick of trying to be somebody that I think you're gonna like. Fuck it, dude. Fuck it, man. million fucking thoughts and strategies about how f some shit is and I don't fucking know 
shit. I think, um, that we should break up. Really?